When my students ask me whether they should become an anesthesiologist, they're surprised when I ask them if they have what it takes. It may sound pretentious, but the question is necessary. This is because, like many people, they have only a vague idea of what an anesthesiologist actually does. We have no idea what they do. And what is required of them. So I've put together a list of five character traits that are essential in order to become a competent anesthesiologist. And to be one, you need all five. And even if just one of these is missing, then I don't think anesthesiology is for you. The decision to become an anesthesiologist is not a decision to be taken lightly. Here's what you need. Commitment. Why commitment? Is it not the same as motivation? Well, motivation depends on external factors, and if you're looking for external reward from others, the fame and the recognition, then you will be disappointed if you choose anesthesiology. You see, while the surgeon is a star of the show, and I would say rightly so, for that is what the patient came for surgery, the anesthesiologist works in the background to set the stage and provide a safe and secure environment to make the operation possible. Commitment comes from within. Your reward as an anesthesiologist comes from the satisfaction of knowing that you save lives on a daily basis, and to do that, you must be committed to mastery of your craft and to being the very best you can be in any moment. Patients' lives depend on your skills. And you don't save lives just one day and then sit back. You come back and save lives the next day and the day after and so on right throughout your career. That takes commitment. So commitment means to be self-motivated, to be always learning, always improving, always striving to be on top of your game. Courage. Saving lives requires courage. It is no coincidence that the operating room is also known as a theater and you are at the center of the drama every day. The surgeon may be in the spotlight as they perform the intervention, but from the moment that anesthesia is administered, the patient's life is quite literally in your hands. Knowing that takes courage. At a basic human level, it is hard to describe the enormity of the responsibility involved when a patient says goodbye to their loved ones and walks in to put their life into your hands. And that fully functioning, walking, talking human being puts their trust in you. They trust that you will administer chemicals which are potentially lethal at just the right dose so that they are insensitive to pain throughout the surgical procedure. But a few minutes later, after you administer the potent medications, the patients are immobilized, unable to walk or talk, they are defenseless, completely vulnerable and dependent on you to keep them alive. And from that moment on, your responsibility. That responsibility is enormous, but while you're aware of it, you also cannot allow yourself to be in awe of it or paralyzed by it. Fear may send others into a state of panic, but you, as the anesthesiologist, with the patient totally relying on you must remain calm and in full command so that you can focus on the well-being of the patient. And that focus must remain alert and able to draw on all of your knowledge and cumulative experiences to quickly assess and anticipate situations and conditions so that you can make the right decisions under pressure. And there's no backup, no mentor in the room, no time to pause and reflect. Anesthesiology is not something you can just fall into and see how it goes. The root of the word courage means heart, and you should not choose anesthesiology as a profession if your heart is not in it. There are those who would say that you can practice anesthesiology even if your heart is not in it, and of course, you can do anything. However, never mistake can do with will do. Confidence. Confidence comes from knowing that you are in command of your skill set, that you are equipped with the most up-to-date knowledge and best practices, that you are in a good physical shape and that you are doing everything you can to be the best that you can be in your profession. This is not the field where you can acquire the training and then sit back. If you are the kind of person who prefers to make decisions over time and you like to reflect, consider and confer over a few hours or days, then you would not survive long in anesthesiology. You would be exposing yourself to enormous amount of stress on a daily basis 
because anesthesiology is a field that demands instant decision making. It requires that you're constantly learning and improving and that your knowledge and skills are so deeply etched that they can be called upon and relied upon in any moment. To maintain the confidence, you must be a lifelong learner, always honing and mastering your craft. Consistency. Theory is not enough. You can spend a lifetime acquiring the knowledge and learning about the principles, but at the end of the day, anesthesiology is a practice. You need to possess the necessary physical traits and you need to practice them regularly to develop consistency. A competent anesthesiologist must have excellent manual dexterity, good hand-to-eye coordination, and a steady hand. Anesthesiology is not for you if you're clumsy or prone to nervousness. You cannot afford to be all fingers and thumbs when it comes to swiftly inserting a needle in the correct position under pressure. And it's not enough to just possess these skills, they must be practiced. Just as a talented athlete or musician knows that they have to practice playing scales, modes, chords, or certain exercises, even the greatest talents can get a little rusty when they are out of practice. And if you are committed to being a great anesthesiologist, then you must be committed to maintaining your competence. The anesthesiologist needs regular practice to exercise and maintain their physical skills and techniques so that they are constantly delivering their best. Charisma. An anesthesiologist must be able to lead a team and a good leader must have charisma. Charisma is a trust in yourself. It is about having complete trust in your faculties, abilities, knowledge and skills so that you know you are equipped to the highest level to offer the highest level of service. The absolute trust in yourself is what makes a great leader for when you trust yourself. Others will trust you and want to follow you as well. In the operating room, there's no time to question or debate, so the smooth functioning of the team and immediate resolution of the problems depend on your mutual trust for successful performance. So that is it. And the question is, do you have what it takes? The anesthesiologist is all about the pride and the passion, if you don't mind skipping the glory. <laughs>